Southern Africa stands as a crucible of human history, a region where ancient civilizations flourished, and diverse cultures intermingled to shape the tapestry of humanity. From the majestic landscapes of the Kalahari Desert to the lush valleys of the Zambezi River, this vast expanse of land has witnessed the rise and fall of empires, the clash of civilizations, and the resilience of indigenous peoples. For millennia, Southern Africa has been a melting pot of cultures, languages, and traditions. The land itself teems with stories of conquest and exploration, of triumph and tragedy, each contributing to the rich mosaic of history that defines the region. Nestled amidst the verdant plains of Southern Africa lies the Kingdom of Butua, a land shrouded in mystery and steeped in legend. While its name may not echo as loudly as some of its neighbors, such as Great Zimbabwe or the Zulu Kingdom, the story of Butua is no less compelling. In this essay, we embark on a journey of discovery, peeling back the layers of time to reveal the hidden treasures of Butua's past. From its mythical origins to its golden age as a powerful kingdom, we delve into the annals of history to uncover the secrets of Butua's rise to prominence. Butua beckons us with its enigmatic allure, inviting us to explore its ancient ruins, decipher its forgotten languages, and unravel the mysteries of its lost civilization. As we delve deeper into the heart of Butua, we will encounter a world of wonders, where the echoes of the past still resonate with the vibrant energy of the present. Join us on this odyssey through time as we journey into the heart of the kingdom of Butua, where history and legend intertwine to create a tapestry of unparalleled beauty and intrigue. In the annals of Southern African folklore, the kingdom of Butua emerges from the mists of time, shrouded in myth and legend. According to local traditions passed down through generations, Butua traces its lineage to ancient gods and heroic ancestors who shaped the destiny of the land. One prevalent myth recounts the tale of a mighty warrior who, guided by the spirits of the wilderness, ventured into the heart of the untamed savanna. There, amidst the towering baobab trees and shimmering rivers, he encountered a divine presence that bestowed upon him the wisdom and strength to found a kingdom that would endure for centuries. Another legend speaks of a great queen whose beauty and courage captivated the hearts of kings and warriors alike. It is said that she united the disparate tribes of the region under her rule, forging a mighty empire that stretched from the mist-shrouded mountains of the east to the sun-drenched plains of the west. Though steeped in mystery and embellishment, these myths offer tantalizing glimpses into the origins of Butua, hinting at a time when gods walked the earth and heroes strode across the land. Beyond the realm of myth and legend, the origins of Butua are shrouded in the mists of prehistory, where fact and fiction blur together in the passage of time. Archaeological evidence suggests that human settlement in the region dates back thousands of years, with early inhabitants leaving behind traces of their existence in the form of rock art, pottery shards, and ancient ruins. Butua's transition from a loose collection of nomadic tribes to a centralized kingdom is believed to have occurred around the early first millennium AD. As trade routes crisscrossed the continent and new technologies spread across the land, Butua emerged as a prominent center of commerce and culture in southern Africa. The kingdom's strategic location, nestled between the Zambezi and Limpopo rivers, provided fertile ground for agricultural development and facilitated trade with neighboring regions. Over time, Butua grew in wealth and influence, attracting merchants, craftsmen, and adventurers from far and wide. By the time European explorers first set foot on African soil, Butua had already carved out a formidable presence in the region, its influence extending far beyond its borders. The Golden Age of Butua dawned with the ascent of powerful rulers who sought to expand the kingdom's influence far beyond its ancestral borders. Fueled by ambition and bolstered by military prowess, Butua embarked on a campaign of territorial conquest that would shape the destiny of the region for centuries to come. Under the leadership of visionary monarchs, Butua's armies swept across the savanna, subjugating rival tribes and incorporating vast swaths of land into the burgeoning kingdom. From the fertile valleys of the Zambezi to the rugged highlands of the Drakensberg, Butua's reach extended far and wide, establishing it as a dominant force in southern Africa. Central to Butua's rise to power was its thriving economy, fueled by a network of trade routes that crisscrossed the continent and linked it to distant lands. The kingdom's strategic location at the crossroads of East and Southern Africa made it a hub of commerce, 
where goods and commodities from as far afield as the Indian Ocean and the Atlantic coast converged. Butua's prosperity was built on the wealth of its natural resources, including gold, copper, and ivory, which were eagerly sought after by merchants and traders from across the known world. Through shrewd diplomacy and astute business acumen, Butua's rulers capitalized on their kingdom's riches, amassing vast fortunes and cementing their position as regional power brokers. At the heart of Butua's success lay its system of governance, which blended traditional African customs with innovative administrative practices. At the apex of the political hierarchy stood the monarch, whose authority was absolute and whose word was law. Supported by a cadre of loyal advisors and administrators, the king or queen ruled over Butua with a firm but benevolent hand, ensuring stability and prosperity for their subjects. Beneath the monarch were a network of provincial governors, chiefs, and tribal elders who administered the kingdom's affairs at the local level. Each region of Butua was governed according to its own customs and traditions, with a high degree of autonomy granted to local leaders to manage their own affairs. One of the most enduring legacies of the Kingdom of Butua is its remarkable art and architecture, which reflect the skill and creativity of its craftsmen and artisans. From the towering stone walls of its fortresses to the intricate carvings adorning its temples and palaces, Butua's architectural marvels stand as a testament to the Kingdom's cultural richness and ingenuity. Butua's artisans were renowned for their mastery of stone and wood, creating structures that seamlessly blended form and function with breathtaking beauty. The Great Walls of Butua, for example, are a marvel of engineering, stretching for miles across the landscape and standing as a formidable barrier against would-be invaders. Butua's artistic prowess was not limited to architecture alone, however. The kingdom was also home to a vibrant tradition of sculpture, pottery, and metalwork, with artisans producing exquisite works of art that adorned palaces, temples, and tombs throughout the realm. Butua was a land of diverse belief systems, where gods and spirits were worshipped alongside ancestral deities and nature spirits. At the heart of Butua's spiritual life was a deep reverence for the natural world, with the kingdom's inhabitants seeing themselves as custodians of the land and guardians of its sacred sites. Central to Butua's religious practices were ceremonies and rituals designed to honor the gods and appease the spirits, ensuring harmony and prosperity for the kingdom and its people. These rituals often took the form of elaborate festivals and ceremonies, where music, dance, and storytelling played a central role in celebrating Butua's cultural heritage. Butua's religious landscape was a tapestry of beliefs and traditions, with different communities worshipping their own gods and observing their own rituals. Despite this diversity, however, there was a sense of unity and mutual respect among Butua's religious communities, with shared values of tolerance and acceptance serving as the foundation of the kingdom's spiritual life. At the heart of Butua's cultural heritage lies its rich oral tradition, passed down through generations in the form of myths, legends, and epic tales. The kingdom's storytellers, known as griots, played a crucial role in preserving Butua's history and culture, using the power of language and narrative to weave together the fabric of the kingdom's identity. Butua's oral literature encompassed a wide range of genres, from heroic epics celebrating the deeds of legendary warriors to cautionary tales warning of the dangers of hubris and greed. These stories served not only as entertainment but also as a means of transmitting moral lessons and cultural values from one generation to the next. Despite its golden age of prosperity and power, the kingdom of Butua eventually faced a series of challenges and conflicts that contributed to its decline. One of the primary factors was the encroachment of external powers, including European colonialists and rival African kingdoms, who sought to assert their dominance over the region. The arrival of European explorers and traders brought with it new technologies, diseases, and ideas that disrupted Butua's traditional way of life. The introduction of firearms, in particular, tilted the balance of power in favor of European colonizers, making it increasingly difficult for Butua to defend its territory against incursions from foreign powers. Internal strife and succession disputes further weakened Butua's position, sowing seeds of discord and division within the kingdom. As rival factions vied for control of the throne, Butua's unity and cohesion began to unravel, leaving it vulnerable to external threats and internal turmoil. Environmental degradation and climate change also took their toll on Butua's fortunes, leading to dwindling resources and declining agricultural productivity. Droughts, 
floods, and famine became increasingly common, exacerbating social unrest and economic hardship within the kingdom. Despite its eventual decline, the legacy of the Kingdom of Butua lives on in the cultural heritage of Southern Africa. From its architectural marvels to its artistic traditions, Butua's influence can be seen in the diverse tapestry of cultures that populate the region to this day. Butua's architectural legacy, including the Great Walls and other monumental structures, continues to inspire awe and admiration, serving as a reminder of the kingdom's once great power and prestige. Its artistic traditions, meanwhile, continue to inform and enrich Southern African culture, with motifs and techniques passed down through generations of craftsmen and artisans. Butua's cultural influence extends beyond the realm of art and architecture, however, encompassing language, literature, and spirituality as well. Many of the region's languages and dialects bear traces of Butua's linguistic heritage, while its oral traditions continue to shape the storytelling traditions of Southern Africa. In recent years, efforts have been underway to preserve and commemorate the heritage of the Kingdom of Butua, ensuring that its legacy endures for future generations. Archaeologists and historians have been working tirelessly to uncover the secrets of Butua's past, excavating ancient ruins and deciphering inscriptions to piece together the kingdom's history. Museum exhibits, cultural festivals, and educational programs have also been established to celebrate Butua's heritage and raise awareness of its significance. These initiatives serve not only to honor the memory of Butua but also to foster a greater appreciation for Southern Africa's rich and diverse cultural heritage. In the modern era, the Kingdom of Butua continues to hold a place of significance in the collective consciousness of Southern Africa. While its days of imperial glory may be long gone, Butua's legacy endures as a symbol of resilience, cultural richness, and historical importance. Contemporary perspectives on Butua vary widely, reflecting the diversity of interpretations and narratives that have emerged over the centuries. For some, Butua represents a lost civilization, a reminder of Africa's rich and complex history before the arrival of European colonialism. For others, it is a source of inspiration and pride, a testament to the ingenuity and creativity of Southern Africa's indigenous peoples. While Butua may no longer wield the political power and influence it once did, its cultural legacy continues to resonate with people across the region and beyond. From scholars and historians to artists and activists, Butua's story serves as a source of inspiration and reflection, prompting new conversations about identity, heritage, and the legacy of colonialism in Africa. In recent years, there has been a growing interest in revitalizing Butua's legacy through tourism and cultural revival initiatives. Efforts to promote Butua's archaeological sites, historic landmarks, and cultural festivals have helped to raise awareness of the kingdom's rich heritage and attract visitors from around the world. Tourists flock to Butua to explore its ancient ruins, marvel at its architectural wonders, and immerse themselves in its vibrant cultural traditions. From guided tours of archaeological sites to cultural performances and craft markets, Butua offers a wealth of experiences for visitors eager to discover the kingdom's hidden treasures. At the same time, efforts are underway to revitalize Butua's cultural heritage for future generations. Museums, heritage centers, and educational programs provide opportunities for local communities to learn about Butua's history and traditions and to actively participate in preserving and promoting its legacy. The story of the Kingdom of Butua is one of resilience, innovation, and cultural richness. From its mythical origins to its golden age of power and prosperity, Butua's journey is a testament to the enduring spirit of Southern Africa's indigenous peoples and their contributions to the region's history and heritage. Key takeaways from Butua's journey include the importance of preserving and celebrating Africa's diverse cultural heritage, the resilience of indigenous communities in the face of external challenges, and the need for inclusive and sustainable development that respects the rights and traditions of local populations. As we look to the future, it is essential to recognize the importance of preserving Butua's legacy for posterity. By safeguarding its archaeological sites, documenting its oral traditions, and promoting its cultural heritage, we can ensure that Butua's story continues to inspire and enlighten future generations. Butua's legacy is not just a relic of the past but a living testament to the enduring power of culture, identity, and heritage in shaping the world we inhabit today.
By honoring Butuwa's memory and celebrating its achievements, we pay tribute to the countless generations who have called this ancient kingdom home and ensure that its legacy lives on for centuries to come.